Hey everyone, I uh, was reading some comments and some emails and uh, about the uh, the NLE 2011 event and what their uh, exercise is going to be encompassing and I find it very interesting, now I could be wrong here, uh, this could be a coincidence and I just want comments uh, you know I find it very interesting, all this is going down with the flooding and this uh, exercise and uh, it's funny, it says the exercise will end on Thursday, okay? And then if you uh, want to tie something in, we have this uh, major uh, event happening May 21st, supposedly. And I find it very interesting because, you know, even though I don't believe anything's going to happen, like they say uh, the end of the world is coming on May 21st, I do think that it is possible that they could do a, a Project Blue Beam type scenario or maybe something I can't even fathom that where we have uh, people actually uh, doubting their religion or uh, asking questions about what's going on uh, it could be a type of a Project Blue Beam type thing it could be uh, something we can't even think about you know it could be a simulated uh, attack it could be just uh, a red flag, you know. I have no idea. But uh, it should be an interesting week, guys. It should be a very interesting week. Uh, from uh, from Monday to around uh, Sunday, I would say. Because that thing is on Saturday. So I would say from next week, all of next week should be a very interesting week. To keep track of the news, what's going on. As far as quakes in the New Madrid area. Uh, and of course uh, probably a worldwide event that we can't even fathom yet so that's just my view on it um, those transformers blowing in Texas one guy wrote me it could have been just a severe thunderstorm they had or uh, one guy wrote me uh, though if you look at the pictures there it's two lights in the sky could have been uh, UFOs causing the transformers not exactly sure why they would want to blow transformers but so that's the story I got. And uh, that's about it. Uh, my blog TV show today didn't go as well as I honestly thought. It was very sloppy and I apologize for that. I, uh, my problem I have and I'm going to have to try and get out of the habit of doing it is I keep closing, opening and closing windows uh, trying to get news and I accidentally always keep closing the uh, blog TV window. So. Uh, next week I'm going to try and uh, be a little bit more careful and uh, for those of you who haven't been on the blog TV show and missed it uh, I didn't really cover that much um, I covered a little bit about well today Sony came back uh, Sony's uh, PlayStation Network is back for all you gamers that was a big news thing so I thought I'd cover that uh, another story I covered today was uh, the thousands of fish uh, that were washing up on shore in Lake Erie. Uh, there were thousands of fish that were still happening and they're washing ashore. No explanation guys. If you go on to look at it and just type in thousands of fish washing up on shore Lake Erie and you'll see the story I'm talking about. In fact maybe I'll link you to the story. Um, of course you got the Gaza Israel border where dozens of people are getting shot right now and injured because of uh, incursions into Israel. Uh, another thing I covered, a very big important uh, thing I covered on Blog TV today, was uh, that Iran is sharing ballistic missile technology uh, with North Korea. Or I should say North Korea is sharing uh, ballistic missile technology with Iran. Um, you know, it's very interesting that um, this story comes up because now it's they're implicating China. So if you guys want to read that, I'm also going to be linking you to that article below. Um, what else did I cover today? Oh, that was the story of Jordan. Jordan, there were a whole bunch of stories about Israel today. They're just having mass protests against Israel. And, uh, there was a whole bunch of riots and rock throwing and shootings and stuff. Um, there was also, uh, Israel's northern borders bears Iran's footprints. Uh, it says, uh, they're blaming Iran. You know, Israel's blaming Iran for all the chaos that's happening. And uh, all this is happening on uh, because of uh, that Nakba Day clashes where uh, you know, the Palestinians wanted to 
reclaim uh, their land and make a, a very uh, big statement saying that you know they want their land back and uh, that's pretty much all the stories I covered today not too much but um, I was uh, very uh, upset how it went down uh, I should have been a little bit more careful on my blog TV show and I apologize for that even though I am a one-man band here this isn't exactly you know CNN I have nobody in the control room helping me so if I close a window here and there I'm gonna actually try and uh, fix that next week so again guys uh, thanks again for everyone who came to my blog TV show and uh, for those of you who have any uh, comments and uh, thoughts on what's going to be down the road uh, next week, I'd really like to know your thoughts because, you know, I didn't change my thinking. I don't think anything is going to happen as far as uh, biblical, you know, Jesus, second coming and all that. But uh, after seeing a couple of videos now and uh, with the harp and this exercise now, I'm actually thinking maybe they're planning something uh, that we can't even imagine. Okay, I could be wrong. We could all go through next week and nothing would happen, which I would be very happy to report on. But uh, with all these events happening, the body bags they were preparing three months ago, now we have flooding. You know, you know it's almost like somebody saying to you, you know, and I'm going to buy a rain... Um, an umbrella you know just in case it rains and uh, you know it rains and then you say to the guy oh why'd you buy it so well, I knew it was gonna rain so I bought an umbrella something like that you know these guys these guys uh, pretty much have a plan laid out I don't know exactly what that plan is call it depopulation call it whatever I don't really understand the plan to tell you the truth it doesn't make sense to me at all I guess they want water out of chaos or something, but whatever it is, um, I'll tell you one thing, guys. We'll all find out very soon. I just uh, hope everyone is uh, strong enough to get through it. I know uh, I'm going to try and be uh, physically and mentally strong enough for whatever's coming down the road, uh, and that's pretty much all I really wanted to report on. Uh, I think I uh, think I'll be on Block TV on. Uh, Next Friday, I was thinking of doing a blog TV show. I haven't decided yet. You know, see what happens. Next week, I can't do it by... I can't really uh, plan ahead that far ahead. Because every day, it's things are changing so fast, guys, in the Middle East and all over the world. Is that I can't even plan to Friday. I'll plan till tomorrow. You know, see... I, I check my news and see what happens tomorrow. You know, tomorrow could be a totally different day. The whole... All the dishes on the table could be just totally you know broken you know when you take those you ever see those magic shows where you take the the uh, tablecloth and you just pull the tablecloth up and all the dishes go flying well that's could be that could be any day next week and I'm not kidding guys you know we could have uh, you know an 8.0 earthquake on the new Madrid fault we could have millions of people dead you know I could be gone you know it, who knows what could be you know anything is possible with these guys Anything is possible. I don't, put, I don't put anything past these guys. And by the way, um, I just want to mention something. Um, those, uh, I think Strings Real uh, men mentioned this or sent this. I think it was Strings Real. He was talking about the uh, the clouds. Or he put up a video talking about the clouds. Um, when the clouds get uh, really, you know, glowing clouds, you see, people are wondering how can Hop do that? You know, how can Hop's energy make clouds uh, glow well for anybody who has watched the aurora borealis okay the aurora borealis in essence is actually the sun's rays the energy of the sun's radiation and all those all that energy hitting our atmosphere okay and that's what makes the uh, aurora borealis that's what makes all that glowing you have green glowing clouds and you have red glowing clouds and blue glow you have all these glowing uh, glowing clouds in the atmosphere. So it only makes sense that if you have a harp with all this energy being beamed into one area, you would uh, have also these uh, weird glowing clouds. And that's just my take on it. Anyway, guys, that's my little uh, rant for the night. Uh, it's 11.45 here. I'm going to call it a night and uh, get some sleep. 
Take it easy, folks. Be well. Bye.